What's up guys? Today it's going to be a quick video and uh, I'm talking about the roof here. I'm still not feeling good. I've had a killer headache today. Really, really bad. So I wasn't even going to risk uh, trying to work. I have some help coming out tomorrow. So I figured I'd rest up today, knock out a bunch tomorrow. But my question is, what do I do for the roof? I need to pretty much, I got the tar paper as you can see right here. So I already bought that, and then I got the uh, house wrap for the outside. But my question is, do I, the furring strips is basically what I'm going for here. So the furring strips, do I get 1x4s, and do they need to be treated? Or do I do 2x4s to make it even stronger? And I know some of you guys said put the foam insulation underneath it, underneath the uh, metal when, we, when I put the roof on. So that's... Well, my question is, do I do 1x4 and it squishes the uh, foam insulation really well, or do I do 2x4 and it's stronger, but then there's a gap or something? I'm not sure. I've never put on a metal roof. So if you know, please comment down below. I'm going to try to knock that out tomorrow if I can buy the uh, materials for it. If not, tomorrow for sure, this whole thing should be dried in. It should have the house wrap and tar paper on, possibly a metal roof if I can uh, buy it, but... That's my big question is the furring strips. One by four or two by four, and then how far apart do I put it? It's roughly 70 inches from the middle to here. So from what I was looking up online, people do them 16 and 24 inch on center. So if you guys know, please let me know. So again, do I do 16 or 24 inch on center, one by four or two by four, and does it need to be treated? Hopefully you guys let me know and then in the morning I can buy some materials and hopefully I can get this thing dried in and a metal roof on there. Hopefully. We'll see. But I do have help coming and I'm just going to keep resting up today. Like I said, killer headache to the max. I feel fine. I don't feel like throwing up or anything like that. I've eaten today. It's just my headache has been outrageous. Like I haven't even had my hat on. I just put my hat on for this video and it's killing me just my hat being on my head. That's how bad my headache is. So guys, thank you so much for the uh, um, info that you're going to tell me. Please again, only really comment if you know for sure what to use because I'm going to buy this stuff tomorrow. So I need to know tonight. So see y'all guys tomorrow on hopefully Cops the Crockers and the Crockers. But guys, thank you for watching and thank you for uh, dealing with me being sick and not feeling great the last few days and dealing with these short videos. I have just been out of it. And I want to thank you guys for the roast videos. You guys have until Monday to keep posting the roast videos. There's been, I think, like 13 or 14 so far, and they're pretty freaking hilarious. I mean, people are drawing beards on. Some guy even drew the slit in my ear on his that's missing, did a fake nose ring, drew on tattoos. I mean, it's pretty good. And I know there's a few more people doing them, so guys, keep them coming, and anyone that has bought shirts, thank you so much. Uh, again, this is a slow month, so any shirts that you buy, basically the profit goes into uh, the house build, and I can get it done, because uh, it's going to be on a budget next month, but hopefully I'll be going out to uh, Sawyer Ridge House a lot this next few weeks, and we can start cutting trees and milling up lumber and all that cool stuff and start doing the siding, so guys, thanks for watching. Uh, if you need to know anything about me, it's down in the description, anything. So, uh, yeah, see y'all later.